In this video, we are going to create our starter project. All you need to do is to download video underscore three underscore starter project package. This is a Unity package that you should be able to download from the GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. Next, create a new. Select Unity 2020, the latest version should be OK. And select the Universal Render Pipeline project and create it with the appropriate name. When you're done, you can remove everything what Unity has pre-created for you and simply uh, import the Unity package and you should end up with some underscore textures which contains the materials that we are going to use to texture our world. Those are from the Kenny Assets voxel pack and you should have a scene, voxel world scene. So make sure that you double tap on it to open it up in your Unity. This doesn't contain anything special, this is just a new scene. And you will have the settings folder from the project setup of your Unity URP project. And all it means that we are going to have in the uh, pre project settings in the quality at the top, we are going to have the rendering and this will point out to one of those files from the settings folder. Okay? Now in case you have some issues with the scripts, I will post the scripts in the comments, so if you go to the GitHub repository and select the comments, I will be posting here each video with the appropriate scripts attached, so that you can check what were the changes done to those scripts, so then you can select the specific video. I will also put a link in the description of this video to the Google Drive, where I will put the full projects for each video where we achieve something significant or where we change the settings in the Unity Inspector, since those are usual bugs that you encounter when following a tutorial. Now, if you find this tutorial useful, please check out my Patreon website and maybe become a patron to support me in making those free YouTube videos. You can also support me by purchasing one of my Udemy courses. The links to the courses will be in the description of this video and your support would mean a lot to me and hopefully you would learn something useful. In the next video we will start writing scripts to create our voxel world generator that we will use in the later section of this tutorial to procedurally generate a voxel world. See you in the next video.